everybody, so we're back talking some more Harley Quinn Season 4 on the channel, Episode 5. Last week was one of my favorite episodes of the entire season. This week's episode, Episode 5, is still a very solid one, although it isn't one of my favorites. I think the biggest thing that everyone's going to be talking about after this week's episode is that big cliffhanger ending. We're going to have a lot to discuss when it comes to that later on. Unexpectedly, we get the return of Gordon, who's kind of not living the greatest lifestyle at the moment. As you can imagine, that is probably partly why he jumped at the bit to take on a job as a security guard at the Legion of Doom and is super awkward about it too with the villains and also just the fact that he bails on his wife leaving her in this cabin in the middle of nowhere. After what seemed like a pretty big bonding moment between the Bat family and Harley beating up those European folks at the end of last week's episode you would think this would mean that Harley is now officially part of the family they're gonna be friends now but on the contrary because they still really don't accept her all that much more particularly Nightwing out of everyone. Honestly it's kind of sad how he perceives their relationship more as work colleagues as opposed to actual friendship. Only for it to get more sad when Harley goes to get LASIK eye surgery to fix her vision so she can fight crime with them better, and nobody is there to pick her up from the doctor's office. Barbara, Dick Grayson. Out of everyone she called, I definitely think Bane would have picked her up if he was available, because he's not. He's stuck in TSA and Harley just hangs up on him. Out of everyone, of all people to come pick her up, it's Barbara Gordon's roommate. Small detail I found really amusing about this entire sequence is the implication when Harley's opening up her eyes that Sue Supergirl uses her laser vision to correct people's eyesight. Plus, after a long absence, we finally get the return of Harley's hyenas. She's kind of using them as seeing eye dogs. But this does lead into the main storyline for Harley this week, and it's the fact that turns out Barbara Gordon is missing, and it's up to Harley and her roommate to do a little bit of investigating, trying to find clues, anything they can try to find to see where the hell Barbara Gordon is at the moment, even if it comes down to, like, trashing her apartment to find clues, or just straight up asking Ivy if the villains had anything to do with it. It has been very interesting seeing that bending of the rules kind of explored week by week as far as Harley does kind of have an inside scoop on the villains since she's dating the CEO of the Legion of Doom. Yeah, that can kind of be a major conflict of interest between the two of them. Speaking of Ivy's story, after everything on the moon last week causing Lex to blow his calves off, I guess he decided now he no longer wanted the Johns anymore, so now they work for Ivy. Now, I did think they were pretty fun in the small doses we saw in last week's episode, but they are just very unhinged characters now that they're working under Ivy, pretty much dictating everything that she does. Certainly not the PR team that I would recommend for anyone. Trying anything they can to liven up Ivy's presence, fame, and recognition, her social media engagement. They ghost write a book for her, send her on talk shows. They make a statue for her, which to be honest, the statue does look pretty cool when they unveil it later on. However, all of this stuff, this artificial, superficial angle is very much not Ivy in any sense of the word. And that's why it's unfortunate because of all of this stuff being pushed onto her by the Johns, she's not able to actually get any of her own work done with the Legion of Doom or her little fun posse that she's created, the National Natural disasters as they're called. Initially all three of them are creating this really clever plan with Ivy and it all gets pushed to the side because Ivy has no time because of the Johns. As it was alluded to in last week's cliffhanger, Harley's been having a very tough time sleeping, having these crazy sleepwalking disasters, posing some intriguing things to ponder about. You could say maybe it's due to her repressing her villain side and trying to be with the Bat family, or potentially other things that come to light with Ivy. Out of all the moments in episode 5, the most fun moment to me is when Harley goes and fights all the various cold-themed villains, just straight beating the crap out of them because she thinks they took Barbara Gordon. Turns out Barbara Gordon was never kidnapped or anything. She's been stranded in that cabin that we saw at the beginning of the episode where her mom was. Since, you know, Gordon kind of just left her up there to freeze to death, I assume. I wouldn't feel too bad for her, though, because it turns out she went to go get some ice D. So, good for her. She got some ice penis in the meantime. What was really nice about this conversation between Harley and Barbara in this cabin was the realization that it's going to take time for everyone in the Bat family to warm up to her, particularly Nightwing. And for something like this, it's just going to take some time to let everyone open up to them because for a long time they considered Harley Quinn a villain so I imagine that is a very weird culture shock to now fight alongside her. Too bad however the episode ends on a shocking cliffhanger ending when you look up and see Nightwing is up in the tree and it does not look very good when he collapses onto the ground in front of them at their little cabin. 
I gotta hand it to the writers of the show. They know how to write a cliffhanger ending that's gonna get people talking. So I imagine this ending where we leave things off with Nightwing is gonna be another one that I think is gonna really shock audiences, especially with where we go in next week's episode. But never my thoughts on the episode. Make sure you share your thoughts down below. What do you think of episode five of season four of Harley Quinn? Did you like the episode? Did you not like the episode? How are you feeling about that cliffhanger ending? Share your thoughts down below. And if you have any theories, also share those because part of the fun is having that conversation with you guys in the comment section down below. And thank you guys as always share the videos i always do appreciate it make sure you like on the video and also subscribe to the channel to update reviews reactions unboxings and more the next time i'll see you guys later